So when we've um, made sure that we can provide uh, the herd with as much uh, high energy grass as we possibly can of good quality, then it's uh, of course appropriate to consider if, if supplements are needed. And the need for supplement will depend on the milk yield of the cow and the intake of grass um, on a daily basis. Now in this country we normally work out the cow's requirement for feed based on what we call the UFL system or the Irish Net Energy System. So in this system a cow really needs six UFLs to maintain herself and approximately um, when milk fat percentage is at four they need 0.45 UFLs per kilo of milk. So if we take a simple example, a cow producing 30 kilos of milk at 0.45 UFLs per kilo, that's 13.5 UFLs needed for the milk and six UFLs needed just for the cow. So in total, that cow would need 19.5 UFLs. Now, as it would happen, grass is one UFL. So if that cow consumes 16 kilos of grass, that's 16 UFLs. She needs 19.5, so if we feed four kilos of concentrate, that will be approximately three and a half UFLs. Concentrate typically would be 0.9, maybe the best concentrates up to one UFL per kilo as fed. So it's important that we would feed cows um, an appropriate allowance of concentrate, um, as well as a good intake of high digestibility, uh, high quality grass. The other thing that's important to consider about the concentrate is what's in the concentrate. And certainly from our research here at Lyons Farm, our experience would tell us that it's important to prioritise high energy concentrate as opposed to high levels of protein in the concentrate. And in fact, we fed down as low as 12% protein in the concentrate here at Lyons Farm uh, quite successfully recently without any impact on performance. Of course, on many farms, the concentrate will also carry the minerals and particularly the magnesium in the form of CalMag. But the concentrate will also carry a lot of other minerals, major minerals and trace elements. So it's extremely important that the minerals are included at an appropriate feeding rate. And that's important. It means that when you feed four kilograms of feed, your cow will get a full appropriate allowance of magnesium to prevent grass tetany, but also the animal will get an appropriate allowance of copper, zinc, manganese, etc. One thing that can be a risk for milk solids and particularly for milk fat percent is low rumen pH in grazing cows. So from that perspective it is important in the concentrate to try and avoid really high levels of wheat. Uh, this can make the rumen very acidic and can make it quite challenging then uh, to prevent a uh, low milk fat percentage. Another significant feature that we have found here in research at Lyons Farm is the inclusion of mineral buffers. So for cows, for example, that might peak um, above 30 um, litres of milk or up towards 35 litres of milk, and we certainly have found an advantage from including mineral buffers um, in fat and protein yield. So certainly, uh, particularly marine-based mineral buffers, um, that might uh, give you an advantage in milk solids production.